Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelsey Wigby. Today, I'll be showing you guys how I made this kinky you part wig. So this is the hair I'm using. It's a darling kinky, kinky straight wig. Um, I've used this before. I'll just leave a picture um, in the description. And then I'll be using Doom wig cap. And this is the exact cap I use and of course we'll be using thread and needle I, I make sure I have like about 15 you know needles attached to threads and all that so let's get started so the first thing I did was of course I put on my cap on the canvas or mannequin depending on what you're using and I'm using candle a candle to draw out my pattern I always love to draw out pattern because it just helps you you know get the shape of how you want your wig to look like and you see the pattern I'm leaving in the middle is about four inches you can make it longer depending on how you want the pattern to be we don't make it too long by using four inches you can go up to five you know so then I turned back and now I'm going to start drawing how I'm going to be fixing my wig. You can see I'm doing something like a U shape and I'm not making it too close to each other. I mean the lines because you don't want your U part wig to be too full. Um, you know, normally you're going to attach your hair to it in front. So making it too full is not going to look realistic. So. Um, if, I, if, you, if you buy two packs of hair, you may just use one and a half or one and some of the other pack. So, yeah, just watch the way I'm drawing this and you see how I'm laying my patterns. I'm ensuring that the lines are not so close to each other. I'm leaving about two inch space between them or probably one and a half inch space between them. So, you can slow down this video to see how the patterns will go like and follow that same pattern when you are making use. Now that I'm done with um, drawing the patterns on the cap, I'm just going to start sewing my hair from left to right like that. And I always tell people, if this is your first time making a wig, if you don't know how to sew, I have a video that I explained how to do your sewing properly. So I'm going to leave the video link in the description so you can go watch that and see how you know to sew your wig properly. So yes, um, I'll just keep sewing from left to right. There's nothing, um, you know, special about it. Just following the lines that I have there. And another thing I want to say is, if you don't want your wig so voluminous and you know really big, some people like it very big, fine. But I don't want mine too big because I, I just want it to look really simple. Um, so you can double it at the back, or you can just you know sew just one. Um, weft at the back and then as you are coming forward you can double the weft okay so depends on how much you want the hair to be so yeah I'll just continue sewing as you watch you see what I'm doing and then um, I'll come back later to show you guys how to go about the finishing
so we are at the concluding part so I'm just like um, attaching the last um, weave around the line I didn't really get to the last line because I felt like it was becoming too full you don't want it too full at the you know I mean at the last part because your hair is going to be falling over that part so if it is too high it's going to be obvious that you know it's a you part wig it's not going to blend well you know so you want that part to be really simple with just using one weave around that part so that's what I did I just decided to just fix only the last um, weave on that part so I'm just going to sew these and then you know once I'm done with that then I'll open up the U part for you guys to see So now that I'm done, I'll take my scissors and just cut around that part, following the U pattern, just like what it is called. You want to make it as neat as possible and you don't want to cut any thread there so that it doesn't like open up or anything like that. So yes, that is our U part um, wig. So what is left for us to do is to attach the combs to the back and the sides and then on the U part itself so this is the combs I'm using these are called wig combs you need about six wig combs for this um, so yes I just need to get this particular kind of comb because it's so um, soft it doesn't drag out your hair or pull out your hair so now we're going to turn this cap upside down on the canvas or on the mannequin and I'll just put it in place so the first comb the first two combs are, are going to go at the beginning of the U part you can see where I'm sewing this I'm going to sew one right there and sew one on the other um, opposite end and then sew one at the middle of the U part so just keep watching and you see how I'm going to fix in the combs
So you go ahead and add two combs to the sides and then you add one to the back. So all in total we have six combs. Once you are done with this, you are done with your new part wig. All you have to do is put it on and style it. And the styling is not in this video. You can look out for my next video. The link is going to be available in the description too. You can watch that video to see how I'm going to be styling this U part wig. It's kinky straight, so it's, it's, it's going to blend, you know, really well with my natural hair. I'm hoping. I'll show you guys in the next video. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment and like the video. Bye bye.